The Wheat of the Week, sponsored by Ag PhD Field Day 2011. Attend the free Ag PhD Field Day July 22nd on the Hefty Farm near Baltic, South Dakota. You'll see dozens of plots, a live tiling demonstration, a ride and drive session with new technology, a host of celebrities, and Brian and Darren showing you what's working and what's not on the farm. This will be our biggest event ever, so don't miss it. Weed of the Week is water hemp. It's otherwise known as smooth pigweed. Now, Darren and I debate about this a little bit. I still There's think no Palmer pigweed <laughs> is the exact same thing as water hemp. They're both smooth pigweeds. I, I'll guarantee you, Darren, you could not tell the difference if I had the two plants side by side. But anyway, that's beside the point. Water hemp is smooth pigweed. How many seeds can one plant produce? Well, it's easily over a million. And I know there have been some counts done that have shown it's even a higher number than that. But really, who cares how many seeds they produce? It's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds hundreds of thousands and when you look at in the field you can go from one weed to several hundred thousand per acre in a matter of two to three years time. So you have to get water hemp under control but it's getting tougher as it's being found to be roundup resistant okay. in a number of states. Okay so how are you going to control roundup resistant water hemp in corn? The best thing you can do is use a pre-emerge herbicide like a harness surpass outlook one of those products balance that does a pretty good labeled. job. Yeah, it'll, it'll get 90% of those under control. Then you can use a combination product like a Triple Flex, for example, or you could use Verdict with some Kixor in there, something like that, to get a second shot on it too. Not a second shot. I mean, you, you're going to use that combination product. Right, two modes of, of action in yeah, one application. Action, yeah. But post-emerge, post -emerge. you know, just don't rely on your Roundup. Use a full rate of a broadleaf herbicide, put a half rate of Roundup with it, or if you want to, use a full rate of Roundup and, and products, a full rate of broadleaf. Products. Well, I would use a full rate of Status or either Callisto, Lotus, or Impact. Either one of those do a okay, great job. Soybeans, how are you going to get water hemp under control? Well, pre. soybeans, you have to do a great job pre. Use a Treflan, Sonland, or Prowl in combination with a Valor or one of the Authority products or Sencor. All right, post-emerge, what's the best thing I can use post? Well, Flexstar, but you only get one shot with that. Otherwise, you have carryover. Plus, for the guys down south, they're using a lot higher rate of Flexstar than we can get away with up here. We only use 12 ounces per acre. That's all we can use, or we will see it show up in our yeah, corn Hey, you can year. always use Cobra, though, Darren. Well, you can. You can use a full rate of cobra out there, too. You can burn those plants back. It helps on white mold control, too. Uh, okay, and in wheat? Well, in wheat, pigweed isn't nearly the concern. There's a lot of no. good broadleaf herbicides. You can use a wide match in combination with an affinity broad spec, or you could just use husky. That works well, too. How about pre-emerging wheat? Pre-emerging wheat, you could use kicksore in your burn down. That'd be great. You could also use some prepare. It's not fantastic on water hemp, but just getting something out there helps reduce the population. Yeah, well, water hemp is becoming a major issue all over the country. Just make sure you're controlling it on your farm. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.